Hello Internet, my name is Wiltafu, and I'm very, very sorry for no announcements or indications of whether or not I had a video yesterday. I Things moved faster than I wanted it to, so I do apologize for the no videos yesterday. No videos yesterday. But the important thing is that I'm still alive, so that's okay. And quick announcement, um, this will be the only video for today because I'm going to be working very, very hard for tomorrow because tomorrow is YouTube day in the Seattle, Washington area. And so I'm going to go ahead and put you, I'm going to try to record as much of my experience as I can and then I'll show you that experience on Sunday because, you know, Sunday's kind of relax relaxation and that's with me processing YouTube day where basically I'm going out there on my soap box on my crate. I'm standing on my crate and I'm shouting the world, Hi! I'm what the foo? I'm on a YouTuber. I am not Markiplier. I did not copy Markiplier's hair. And that kind of things. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow on Saturday the twenty seventh. Now, we're not here to hear about my YouTube day. We're here for a good episode and as you can see in the title down below we are playing long gone days now with long gone days i've been trying and trying and trying Ooh, this screen is a bit weird. why is it weird long gone days is a mix of rpg 2d indie story so you can see what it's about and i'm really excited to show you this game i've been trying so hard to record this game but somehow the days are just gone. Like me recording this game is just gone. So let's record it once more. And you'll enjoy it with me once more. So let's start our new episode and a boop. Go from here. Because I'm really excited to read this story to you and play with you. This story is a work of fiction. All the characters in this game are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual events or persons living or dead is entirely coincidental you know because like game development is kind of weird like that <laughs> common knowledge what is common knowledge from the day i was born it was decided that i'd be a sniper as soon as i could talk and understand orders my training started it was the same for every one of my brothers every single one of my brothers or so I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things that were taught to me at the Corps Army were things everyone knew about. And you know, when you're spoon-fed that long, who gets to decide what's important to know? As I was growing up, knowing anything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seemed like a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. When you have been spoon-fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you. You, su you just assume it's normal. Not wrong. It's how people grow up. But what use are those things I was taught during the past 22 years if I was ever taken away from the battlefield? The shout of water. If it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of these things. Service Academy inside the core. Day one. All right, all right, let's continue. The first thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you'll be within Russian territories, even though it's separated from the mainland. Nobody will teach you a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular operation, any kind of communication, sorry, I'm, I'm really sorry, uh, with outside is strictly forbidden. Not even tell them your the name on your dog tags. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Tomorrow I'll be sent on deployment for the first time. I wasn't supposed to go, but 
their previous sniper broke his arm and I was transferred. Do this. Shh, we're in a meeting. You don't go off. We're in a meeting. <laughs> uh, and I was transferred to this squad as a last minute replacement. You should also note that currently summer in that it you should also note that currently it is summer in the northern hemisphere those who those of those of you who are already from the, those of you who have already been deployed at least once will appreciate the fact that summers in Kaliningrad ranges from 55 degrees fahrenheit to 73 degrees fahrenheit but it still rains just like as often as in any other season I'm, as you'll be representing the Polish army, a zero, a zero tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Sorry, guys. I'm I, after the alarm went off, I just got my voice acting through off. So I'm just gonna watch it. Is that clear? Yes. I wish I had more time. I'm not sure if I'm if I'll ever be able to do a good job like this. Uh, Private Rook. Yes, sir. You can find the briefing with the rest of your notes if you have any doubts, just as... And if you have any doubts, just ask someone in your squad. And I'll try. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's all for, that's all for now. We're counting in the soldiers. You are dismissed. Try. Uh, information about the core and Operation Pregola have been added to Rook's notes. Access it on the main tab. <laughs> Alright, what's this over here? Training grounds? Hmm, I can train. But more importantly, I want to touch on this screen. Did you know? You can update your information on this screen. Woohoo! Woohoo. Um, and I'll save and As you can see, I've been trying to record this th for the longest time. But this is a well-deserved game that needs to be pushed out i really like it i personally like it go to the training grounds i mean it's pretty like simple bricks and mortar of like some other games what's this door can i go to this door authorized no 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 never mind and oop, hold on basic training guys hey soldier hey rook and soldier hi I noticed you were about to train with the basic targets. Why don't you activate, activate the act advanced one? To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. Really? Just enter your ID on the console and select advanced mode. Like pretty sweet forward. Like, is your this forgetful? Remember, they won't attack you. It would be it would be ridiculous to have something like that. I mean, if. The holograms or targets for to attack me, paintball guns. Oh, totally. I would try to do that anyways. By the way, you should try these bullets. Incendiaries. Yeah. Thanks. Now. Combat. All right. Let's try these bullets I gave you, shall we? Use any kind. Do you use any kind of skilled let's go to skills and use the bullet. Incendiary. Let's aim at the torso because what's really cool about this is that there's multiple areas to hit. Like this place has not very doesn't have a lot of HP, but there is a medium chance of them evading it. If I shot them in the stomach, they have yes, there's like a lot of defense here, but they have a harder chance of. They have a low chance of evading the attack if you attack there. But if I shoot that head, it'll be super hard to um, get them. Well, let's get them burnt. Yeah, right in the gut. The center of mass is the easiest, to, is the easiest part to hit. You'll rarely miss them if you aim for the body. Well, I'm sure you knew that already, like, cha? I can't really surf her, girl. Oh my god. Most enemies have multiple shots. Let's 
to shoot him in the dick. Invasion has been lowered. And he <laughs> oh, I shot his dick off and he got burnt. Pretty cool. Okay, let's get him propped up for a Ah. That was one shot it. <laughs> alright. Alright, alright, alright. Aren't those bolts great? Like, you got one shot and one kill? And the other guy? Like, yeah. I don't really need them, so you can have these two. It's in three incendiary bullets I've been added to your inventory. God. Anyways, I gotta go now. I'll be giving you instructions remotely tomorrow. But, oh, she's my spotter, Branna. Wish she could have said something from the beginning, but it ruined a surprise. Like, uh, maybe it would be great. Maybe it would be a great idea to take a shower and sleep soon. Information about aiming system. All right, let's save a bit. Let's see. Wait. Oh god. Man, good luck replacing Kyle. That guy could shoot a bit from like a mile away. You know, I'm fairly competent as a sniper too. Jackass. Ginger prep. Brick. What's this guy? I could have sworn I saw one of those tomatoes move. And we stopped talking about the tomato dude. Now we stopped talking to him. Yep, no one cares about the tomatoes moving. And that's where the greenhouse is, presumably. Ed, sad, dude. Do you think someone will notice if I don't take a shower? I mean... <laughs> yeah, I think you guys are okay. But I need a shower because I shot some targets dead. And this is the showers. Let's go. I think I'd miss these showers. I must be crazy. These hot showers. Ooh. Ooh. That's my squad medic. Hello? You should be able to give me some information about the operation. Just like what the uh, Admiral said. Ask him. Uh, I believe his name is Ader? Adar? Adolf? Ader. Maybe I should just call him medic or something. Hey! Adolf! Adolf? Ader? Awesome. Have you met? Not really. I would. I was just transferred here yesterday to the 4th squad, so I was one to... Oh, so you're Kyle's replacement. Yeah, some Kyle's replacement. Oh, you haven't been deployed before, have you? No, it's gonna be my first time tomorrow, but I'm pu... You seem way too calm. Well, I have, I have been waiting for this day for years. I have never even seen the sun before. Try not to stare at it too much unless you want to go blind. I mean, you are kind of bit blind too, so am I not trying to copy you? You don't know a thing about the surface, do you? Hm, not really. The surface is an awful place. It wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Uh, wouldn't you lighten up a little bit? This is not the time to relax. Rude. It's noxious. Frick. Okay. Okay, we're fine. Fine. You know, he sets me off a little bit, so I'm just gonna go home. Uh, go to sleep. At the barracks. Now let's go to sleep for now, you know? We need that rest because our little prick wasn't that much of an assistant. Day two, intercontinental platform. Inside the core. And I'm thinking that the core is actually a network of roads inside the earth kind of like how veins are inside your body and we travel through that more than 15 more than 15 hours have passed already 
For the first time, I'm sitting on the platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time and it makes an ominous noise that won't let me sleep. The guys, the guys look wiped out, to uh, say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well either. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride. But I guess that's because they expect us to fall asleep. I want food now. I'm already in a cranky mood and it's making me nervous. I'm sitting right next to this guy. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen, right? Like, he's not gonna shoot me on the head. He's not gonna get me off. Oh, hello, Aider. Hi. Hey. Hi, Aider. You should try to get some sleep. Fine. You know what? I'm too tired to pretend to be polite. Fuck this guy. Sorry. Uh, screw this guy. Didn't you say this wasn't time to relax? Be time to relax. Why is he laughing? Was I saying a joke? Are you still mad about that thing I told you about yesterday? You know, right now is not the time to... No, 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 no. It's okay. I appreciate your honesty. Thank you? Is that sarcasm or what? It's nothing like that. People are always kissing my ass as if I'm wouldn't as if I wouldn't take care of them if they pissed me off. But let me save you the trouble. Wow, laying down the law already? Asshole. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being my friend doesn't mean that I'll take care of you first. So tell me, weren't you trying to do the same thing yesterday? I don't know you that well, so why? I tried talking to you because I don't know anything or anyone in this squad. I couldn't care less that you happen to be our medic. Butthole. Is that so? Well, I'm glad you're not cynical like the others. What gave you that impression? Butthole. Man, I got news for you. I'm a big butthole. Like, I'm a giant. Get! Butthole, you don't see it yet. Um, if you still wonder if you're still willing, listen to me. There are a couple of things I wanted to tell you about the surface since you were transferred so suddenly. I'm guessing you haven't been properly introduced. With the sun? Nah. I just got briefed today, so take a guess. Really? Well, you seem so curious about the sun that I thought I should warn you a little. To be honest, I really don't know if the sun could leave you blind, but, but what I do know is that it burns. It burns like pouring alcohol on an open wound. Um, how do I know what that feeling is supposed to be like? It can even toast to your skin. It's quite fascinating. Am I bread that can be toasted? Wow. This guy's interesting. He's like, he's like a life of the party. Why is this guy talking to me again? Still, for like five minutes. So yeah, basically, on um, so based on that, I wouldn't even try looking at it too much. Sounds to me the surface was. An, sounds to me like the surface was awfully designed. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. Yeah, since we're inside the. Oh, hello, what's going on? What's that? Did we finally arrive, or um, even the. Lights went out. We have arrived. Everyone get ready. We are opening the hatch. You, I guess, but I mean, still, this is a bit convoluted and convoluted. As soon as the door that separated us from outside opened, a strong and musty odor filled my lungs. Ugh. My uniform got all damp and it got glued to my body as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside of me. That sucks. The surface is gross. Yeah. I can agree with that. <laughs> Gotta go forward. And ravens are used as save points. Okay. I would just touch the... Wait, what? I'll touch you. Shh! In the forest! I'm part of a mission! Shh! You butthole! walk through this dirty, wet, humidly wet area because why not, right? 
who somehow decided to come here anyways. And here's our team. Awesome. Listen up, ladies and gents. See those buildings up ahead? We'll set up a camp there, but we need to clear the area first. We've sent out the drones, and we are currently analyzing the area. So far, there are around 30 targets, and we need to act fast. I know you must be fatigued after the long trip, but this should be an easy task for the 4th squad. Like, yeah, dude. Any questions? I have a good job. Okay. Okay, I guess, um, no questions required. No questions. Irish. Banana. Rook, can you hear me? Yep, what's up? Can you see the enemy base from here? Yeah, I can totally see it. I see a couple of buildings up ahead. Okay, listen. The signal jammer has been deployed, and we are now able to cut off their power supply. After the power has been cut, that will be your chance to attack. Ooh, goody. Sure, just leave it to me. I'll go to my position. Yep, that was totally not noticeable. Like, I wouldn't notice that either. Rook, you should be able to see four targets from where you, you're standing. Are you ready? Cool, so this is another targeting method in this game. The sniping scope. Let's see, hello person. Right in the head. Are this standing guard? I see how it is. Just standing guard. Let's touch you a bit. Oh hi, you think do you think you can hide from here? Boop. Awesome. Got all the targets. Let's go. Let's let's go. The area is clear. Her name is Banana, guys, not Soldier. Get down the hill, you should be able to get a better view of their base. On my way. Banana to Joanna. Oh, I guess I do want to go down the rope. And let's see if we get to. Awesome possum. Let's go to this corner, see what happens. This spot should be fine for the other targets. Let's pop a squat and shoot down the terrorist. Boop. I'm surprised you didn't hear that. A book. A book. Oh, this is way too easy. No wonder. Everyone thinks highly of Coil. Kyle. I should probably meet with the rest of the team. But it's still weird that even though they did not... Even though they were, um, like, the surrounding security, there were no guns. You know, like, so they can protect themselves? I wouldn't know. Is everyone here? I want you all to explore every building and every alley. Any targets kept alive is a threat to the operation. Go, go, go! Got it, I got it. Hello, save point. Boop, 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 boop. This building is empty, but you might never know if they have some sort of a secret bunker. That's good to know. What about this girl? Person. I'm starving, and I already ate all my rations. Does that have yours? No, I mean, you weren't prepared, so, I know you're lying, but, I've, but I had, I know you're lying, but I have done the same. Sure, fine, I lied. Ooh, is that with cinnamon? Wow, she's picky as fuck. Wow. 
can't itch here unless the captain gives us the head. What is that place, though? Apparently, this is where the enemy stores their supplies, but the captain won't let us inside. Why not? And what is that shadowy figure? Ugh, let's chase down. Let's chase it down. One other head. Yeah, he is fast. And a bottle. Awesome. Alcohol? Ooh, kinda want some right now, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Alcohol sounds good in this establishment. But I don't see him anywhere. Hmm. That's interesting. Highly suspect, though. Following an enemy in his own base is obviously a trap. What's this? Bunch of tires. Hello, stud. Did you see someone pass? I can't see a thing, honestly. It's too dark here. Um, thank you. Knock, knock. Room service. Let's see what's over here. Is the person there? Let's check that. Oh, hello, person. And there you are. He ran into a wall. Doesn't he feel bad? But too easy. Am I gonna get ambushed or something? Let's find out. Oh, fetal position. Okay, that's pretty cool. And why is he trying to defend himself like that and trying to cover himself? It's a kid. Why? Why is there a kid here? This is definitely a kid. There's no way he'd be armed. Sir, I found a kid. He seems to be alone. Did you show him? That's weird. What? No, he's really scared, but... Sir, then what are you waiting for, soldier? That doesn't sound inviting. Sir, he's just a kid. I doubt he's any threat to his operation. Oh, for fuck's sake. And there he goes. He's just a kid. How's he gonna jeopardize a mission? Don't question your chain of command, you damn boot. Darn boot. And I don't want to be here no more. Wait, can I touch him? I want to carry his body. But I, I can't. A kid. What good is it going into the army if we're child killers? We shoot children to death. Like, what's the point of all that? I mean, we're supposed to protect. And I'm down. We're so, our job as military service is to protect people, not shoot them down. Or something that we have a hard time believing. And it's morning already. And there's my backpack. There's the British backpack too. Everything is so colorful that it hurts my eye. Sunshine. Are you feeling better? Or am I actually? That's a good question. I guess you can call it a temporary aid station? You were carried here after you fainted, but don't worry. It probably happened because you haven't slept or ate anything. Yeah. Anyways, this area is clear now, so you can sleep a little bit longer if you need to. You look a bit pale, though. I'll get you some, I'll get you some water. Thank you, Aider. Hey. Thanks. Aider's is nice, at least. To be honest, nobody got hurt or injured yesterday, so I haven't got much to do here. Frick. I mean, not that I want someone to get injured or hurt or anything. Yeah, not wrong. But still, weirdo. Oh. Room 2. All well, colorful looks like a kid's room, too. St sorry, tap water tasted funny. So I got you one of these from the store. Thank you. Gatorade? By the way, do you remember anything before you passed out? Yeah, I remember it clearly. I shot a kid. I don't mean to pressure you, but I was told you almost let one of the targets escape. How do I put this kindly? Eh, whatever. It could have costed us the mission, you know. What happened back there? I know what, there was a kid. I didn't feel like shooting. Kid. He was a civilian, a child. 
He wasn't going to attack us or anything, so I didn't know if I had to shoot him at all. He's like the age of my nephew. He's as old as my nephew. But why does that make us... Why did you make an exception for this target? Killing enemy soldiers is a different story. That's what I've been trained to do all my life. But killing a civilian for no reason? Size and age of my nephew? No. Wait a minute. What? We do have a reason to kill kids? I'm surprised you have come this far and, and yet you haven't figured out what kind of operation we're into. I asked you at the locker room, but you kind of like pushed me away. I thought you were- I thought you would have realized that by the time the targets weren't fighting back. None of my targets were soldiers. Are we in the wrong area? Are we in the wrong location? But he approved it. What the hell is it? Sorry. What? What is going on? I don't believe this. But I don't get it. Why would Poland need our help then? How could they possibly benefit from killing civilians? Besides, for such a dirty job, it wouldn't wouldn't it be better if we weren't using their uniforms? Have you seen any Polish soldiers here? There's no war going on in Poland and Grand Brook. There's no war going on. And we were sent and we were sent here to change that, so that's a bit that's discomforting really. <sighs> Balls. This makes no sense. I I can't even process all of this right now. But why Poland? Why Russia? I just don't get it. I'm afraid that's all I know. What is the core's purpose then if not to protect the peace? But what are we then? Some kind of terrorists? It's called a false flag operation. Uh you wear somebody else's flag and you cause a war to start something and falls. How's that any different? And how can you be so calm knowing that? Don't, don't get me wrong, I don't like this either, but what else can we do? Go and try to tell the captain that you want to leave. Or bail. We could bail. Yeah. Don't be stupid. We just get ex we just get executed for deserting in a second. At this point, it wouldn't be so bad. I shot a kid or I'll let a kid die. Seriously, you need to calm down a little bit. Aren't thinking clearly. What kind of thought process are you supposed to be ha are you supposed to have when you shoot a child? No, I can't stand it. This dog tag. Even the name has nothing to do with me. Would they actually know if it belonged to me if I died? I didn't know that's how dog tags worked. Or at least in other countries. Here. I'll save you the hassle. You are ins you are insane, you know that. Just a bit. I don't plan on getting caught though. Another save point, cool. I don't know why the crow got into our room, but I guess it's okay. And so right here guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end our episode in long on days. Now, this is a really fun game that I'm really into already, as you've seen in the history. I've been trying to record this, and now I'm, I hope I got this part. So again, this is going to be the only episode for today, but I thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and comment down below, and there'll be, we'll be back to two episodes starting tomorrow. So don't forget to subscribe, and click on my bell icon for notifications on when I upload videos, or when I stream. I'm so very happy for this game, and long gone days is still apparently a demo but i'll go ahead and link the game down below for you and i'll definitely play more of this i want to get to the end of the demo or at least the end of this game this is something i want to make as a series and i'm i've actually been having problems finding a series to record. but thankfully this is this might cure me so thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video leave a like and a comment down below don't forget to press that subscription button and shush, sure, we're at home. We don't need, we don't need your noise. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon. And as always, my name is WhatTheFoo. I'm your friend and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.